Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode here of Let's Play Minecraft. Thank you as always for all of the lovely support you guys have been showing this series so far. I very much do appreciate it. And of course, if you do want to continue supporting the series, by far the easiest way to do so is simply to drop a like. But of course, if you do want to go on further, use code Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or to get 5% off when ordering any of my Apex gaming PCs. So last episode, we went ahead and made this beautiful storage area and a lot of awesome suggestions came in from you guys, mostly about adding a bit more nature and texture variation to the area here. Maybe we get ourselves some coarse dirt, leaves and vines, and start spreading them all over the place. So, yeah. That'll be something to do at some point in today's episode. But aside from that, I don't actually have any plans for today's episode. So what we're going to do is we're basically going to roam around the settlement here and maybe just do some odd jobs. Maybe try and sort of tie things up a little bit better. Maybe we get the pathway here all connected up to the mine shaft here. Maybe we try to decorate a whole bunch of areas as well. Maybe we try to decorate the staircase going up to the wizard tower. I mean, when you actually think about it and take a step back and look at things, there's actually a good amount of stuff still to be done here, my friends, before we start on any other projects. So do you know what? I think the first odd job we'll do today is we'll go ahead and connect up all of the pathways and potentially decorate them as well. So yeah, let's get right on with it, shall we? So the first thing we need to do, of course, is to go ahead and connect up the pathway to the mine shaft here. So let's go ahead and get this thing up and running. All right, there we are. That's pretty much connected and the pathway is looking nice and organic, which is pretty much what we're looking to get done here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, all we got to do now is bring the pathway over in this direction and connect it up here with the pathway down here that leads over to the eventual nether tunnel and our storage area. Alright, well that's the pathway pretty much up and running. It would also be a nice idea to connect the pathway up to the start of the staircase here. I mean, that makes sense, right? If we're going to try to connect everything up, we need to connect everything up. So yeah, let's go ahead and get that done. I'm thinking maybe we meander the pathway through the bamboo jungle here just a little bit, right? And then we sort of circle it back and have it connect up potentially a around here. And by meandering the pathway through the jungle a little bit, it means that we've got ourselves a small amount of space here to be creating a new build. And I think the build that I'd quite like to put in this space here is maybe two builds, actually. Maybe a stable for a horse, donkey, and mule, and potentially finally, a pen for all of our chickens. Because uh, yeah, things are starting to get a little bit out of hand here, my friends. <laughs> Goodness me. All right. So the pathway is just about there. Just going to go ahead and connect it up. And believe it or not, that's just about it, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic. All right. So as far as I know, that's just about everything we've done so far in this world all connected up quite nicely. As I mentioned in the last episode, to actually have pathways going between the various places you have in your world just means that your world feels that much more immersive. And for me personally, I don't know about you guys, it also helps me to try and figure out where future builds and projects are going to go. And as a result, it kind of kicks my butt into gear in terms of actually getting those builds and various bits and bobs done, huh? So yeah, I'm pretty happy that we've gone ahead and done this. So in order to go ahead and decorate this pathway, there's two blocks I want to be using to add a bit of texture variation to this area, and that is going to be brown concrete powder and coarse dirt. Now, the good news is I can make coarse dirt pretty darn easy-like. In fact, we've got just under two stacks there now. However, I don't have any sand. In fact, at all. I need to go ahead and grab some, and then, yeah, I'll be able to make myself some concrete powder, and then we'll have ourselves a good old time. So, yeah, what I usually do is I do, like, multiple passes on the pathways in that I start off with the texture variation, then I go at it with with some foliage, and then I go at it with some lighting sources, whether it's going to be, I don't know, like a simple lantern on a fence, or some lampposts or something, you know? I really do need to try and find wherever the nearest desert is and make a portal to it, because this is getting kind of silly now. A lacking of sand has been a pretty big issue throughout this series so far. All right, one splodge of sand mined up, and that's given us just over two stacks. All right, cool, that's a good start. All righty, time to do a few passes of decorating the pathways. Let's start off with the core. What? 
Hello? Can Enderman pick up clay blocks? Uh, I mean, clearly they must be able to because there is simply no way that a singular clay block would generate like this. That is very peculiar. <laughs> Well, well, I learned something new today. Enderman can pick up clay blocks. I did not know that. All right, probably the easiest way to do this would be to simply put the concrete powder on our offhand and then start going to town, basically. So, yeah, let's get this thing up and running, huh? All right, so there's the texture variation done for the pathway. Got some brown concrete and cool dirt sprinkled in amongst all of the area here, all the way up to the wizard tower as well. What in the world? As if a chicken infestation wasn't bad enough already. We've got Enderman trying to get in on the party as well. You like chickens then, Mr. Enderman, huh? <laughs> what? Oh, no way! Hello? Hello, hello, hello! We have been wanting a zombie villager for a while now. Oh, dude. All right, you better stay there, bud. I need to get a boat out, like, stat. Uh, boat. Yes. Yeah, I'm so glad. I've actually already got one crafted. <laughs> All right, buddy, 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 buddy. Where did you go? Ah, you're over here. Right, uh, could I potentially get you to come over hither? There we go. All right, and now he shouldn't get wrecked by the sunlight. Yeah, all right, ain't no one getting in there now. That was definitely a pretty pog little find right there. Our first potential villager. Yeah, very nice. Anyway, yeah, we're just getting ourselves a bunch of leaves so we can go ahead and do the foliage pass when it comes to decorating our pathway. Alrighty, so we've got a bunch of these little leaf piles all along the pathway. I think what I want to do down here, since this is technically a bamboo jungle, is maybe actually restore some of the bamboo plants along the staircase here because I feel like that makes a good amount of sense. Maybe even we could have some little sort of clusters of the bamboo plants, right, as we start to go up. I feel like that's a nice idea. You know, I genuinely don't think I'm going to get any sleep tonight. I think all I'm going to hear in my head is just chicken noises. They're just everywhere. All right. The next pass is going ahead and restoring some of the Minecraft trees around here. That's actually a pretty easy step. All we've got to do is randomly dot these things around and then we'll be golden. All right. We've got some trees going on. The next pass is going to be us adding in some of these here cobblestone walls. A little bit of grey to the area. I think would add a good amount. So yeah, we're just going to randomly place in a whole bunch of these here posts and we're going to alternate. Hello? A second zombie villager? Okay. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Uh... Do I have time to... Oh, goodness me. Okay, do you know what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever, whatever. Come in and hit me. You think I care? I really don't. <laughs> Give me those fences back. They're mine. All right, well, that's now two zombie villagers. We have the ability to cure now, which is fantastic. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Some of these I'm going to make double tall because some of them, I think, will go ahead and add some lanterns on top of. Now, when it comes to this staircase here, what we're going to try and do is add in a whole bunch of the walls towards the edges so we can't just go ahead and walk off casually and take a bunch of damage because, you know, that'd be rather silly, wouldn't it? But yeah, once it's all up and running and done, it's going to look absolutely marvellous. So yeah, let's go ahead and get it done. So we'll start off with just solid cobble walls and then what we'll do afterwards is we'll just simply add in some other walls as well. I feel like that's a good way to go. Are you freaking kidding me? There's a third zombie villager! Oh my gosh! Okay, uh, do you know what? Why don't you just come in here and get in the boat with your body? There you go. <laughs> oh, fantastic, isn't it? Look at these guys. All right, so here's what we've got going on so far in terms of the outside walls here. And I think we've done a pretty good job. I really, really do. So what we're going to do real quick is we are going to go ahead and add in a bunch of bone meal. And then, well, basically, that'll do the job, I would hope, in terms of, you know, adding a little bit of natural beauty around here. Ah! Okay, <laughs> sure. Thanks for that, Mr. Zombie. Yeah, I needed waking up. Goodness me. Can I please go get a nice peaceful sleep? If I was to pop into my storage room here, I'm hoping... Ah, ouchies! I'm hoping that I'll be able to get myself a little bit of sleep. Oh, one of my parrots decided to follow me. Hey! What the... Hey, 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 no! 
bad skeleton. My goodness me. I am getting actually quite stressed. There's so much stuff going on. <laughs> Alrighty, so the final pass in terms of going ahead and decorating this, aside from bone mealing the ground and restoring a little bit of nature, is to go ahead and start adding in a little bit of lighting. So let's go ahead and do exactly that. We're simply going to go ahead and add in some light. Posts. That's all we're going to do. Just a little bit of illumination along the way here will go a long, long way, I would say. Oh, hey, buddy. What you got for me? Uh, do you know what? Ordinarily, I would go ahead and just pass up the sand offer, but actually... It might actually be a good idea to take it. So yeah, you know what? We're going to buy the sand. All right, buddy. Here we go. You can get a full stack. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. We do have red sand here as well available. Do we really need it though? Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to buy some just for the heck of it, but we're only going to get, what, half a stack of it? Not even that. Oh my gosh, what a ripoff. And then Podzol, Lily of the Valley. Eh, I mean, nah, I think I'm alright. I think we'll go ahead and save the rest. In the meantime, you're going to die, sir. And I am going to take the leads. I'm going to re-log. And those guys are going to forget that I ever went ahead and killed their master. I mean, look at them. They don't even care anymore. Ha! <laughs> I am your master now. I do kind of want to see what those llamas have in terms of inventory space. If they have more than three columns worth of inventory space, I am going to keep them. Because, yeah, one of these days, it'll be kind of cool to do like a, maybe like a desert-themed adventure where we have a whole caravan of llamas following us. And and then, yeah, we could put a bunch of stuff on them as we go along. All right, so you, my good sir, are totally trash. Goodbye. Does anyone know the actual percentage chance of llamas spawning in with five columns of inventory space? You know, the same amount of inventory space as a donkey. Because it must be super rare, right? The entire time I play Minecraft, I don't think I've ever come across a llama that has got a full inventory. Let's have a look. Two loads. That is crummy there, sir. No, no, no. All right, lighting has been added, even on this pathway here. So now all that's left to do is to go ahead and start randomly splicing in some of these here mossy cobble walls for a little bit of texture variation, and then I think we're just about there. So now we come to one of my favorite parts of Minecraft, bone mealing the floor and restoring nature with just one click. I mean, look at it. It's so easy to do. You need only get yourself a small supply of bone meal, and there you have it. You got yourself a bunch of nature going on and it just looks marvelous, doesn't it? So, yeah, a little bit there, a little bit back here and, uh, yeah, guys, that's just about it. I think the pathways are done. Ah, uh, well now, I was gonna go ahead and grab some shears, grab myself some more vines, and make a little bit of a start on adding some textures and greenery inside of the storage room. But, um, that is not something I'm able to do. I have no iron at all. Ah, darn it. <laughs> I guess we're popping down into caves, eh? All right. Yeah, I can't even... Oh, goodness me. I can't even get in here now. All right, all right. Let's see if we can find ourselves some iron, huh? If we can find ourselves one of those gigantic iron veins, you know, the ones that sort of go through tough as well, that would be so nice, my friends. It really, really would. So I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and uh, go off the beaten path here a little bit. And uh, let's see if we can find some iron. Oh, Interesting. I don't know if we ever spotted this before, but it turns out there is, in fact, an abandoned mine shaft pretty much right above our existing mine shaft. Okay. Time to reap the rewards. I mean, I do need coal as well, so actually, this is killing quite a few birds with one stone. I need the coal, I need the iron, I need all this stuff. And now that we have fortune, we can get resources coming out of the wazoo, my friend. Yeah, make it rain iron. Heck yeah. Oh, what's that? You wanted more iron with your iron? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I never thought I'd be so excited to see iron in my entire life, man. Oh, this is so worth it, though. Oh, goodness me. What on earth? Uh, oh, hey. Well, this is kind of cool, isn't it? Oh, my gosh. Isn't this, like, super rare now? Deep slate emerald ore? Ah, uh, I can't remember. I'll be honest with you. 
but I don't feel like you're able to find those things very often anymore. I feel like we should silk touch this and put it in a rare stuffs museum. Oh, snappers. All right, turns out this cave actually goes quite a bit further on than I first thought. Oh, mama. Well, I was going to say, I kind of wish I brought wood down with me. But then I realized we have an abandoned mine shaft here. We could just go ahead and rob the wood. I mean, why wouldn't I? I mean, it's called being resourceful, right? Holy smokes. Oh, goodness me. Okay, that actually kind of worked out in our favor. <laughs> Hey, look at that. We got some diamonds. You know what? I genuinely wasn't intending on doing any mining in today's episode, like, at all. But here we are. <laughs> Oh, goodness me. I really do get sidetracked very, very easily, don't I? I will go ahead and get that storage room all nice and greenified by the end of today's episode. Believe me, I will get it done. But yeah, for now, I'm just kind of enjoying doing a little bit of resource gathering because, you know, we kind of desperately needed to. All right, well, we got one more diamond ore right there, which is kind of nice. So thank you very much, Minecraft. I'll grab that in just a hot second here. To be honest, the iron is literally more valuable than diamonds to me right now. <laughs> All right, we've got three diamonds at the minute, and now we've got five. Hey, well, at least we've got more than one. Come on, we got to find one of those large iron... Ve oh. Uh, could this be one? I don't think it is. I think it just so happens to be iron next to tough. All right, guys, we will find ourselves a large iron vein. Mark my words, we will find one. It's just a matter of time and luck, really. What? Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, we have a whopping great cave system to be had down here. Ah, oh, dudes, I'm going to wind up spending way more time here than I first anticipated. Oh, okay. Question. Is this going to be somewhere where there is a large iron vein? Question mark? Oh, look at this dude. He's got the cutest, tiniest little spoon I've ever seen. Oh, and he actually dropped the spoon as well. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, guys, we need to go back into base and rename this to the first spoon and then put that in an item frame. <laughs> Dude, I think I found one. I think I found one. I think I found a super iron vein. I mean, just look at it, my friendos. Just look at it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, our iron troubles are over, ladies and gentlemen. They are over. Oh, okay, I'm so excited about this, my friendos. Yeah, look at it. Look at it. It's all over the bleeding place. Oh, you'll love to see it. I certainly love to see it. Oh, look at that. It even goes over this way. Look, even more iron. <laughs> Our iron troubles are well and truly over, dudes. I still want to try to excavate one of these large iron veins or copper veins at some point. But yeah, for now, I really do need the iron for my own uses. So yeah, maybe later down the line, we could try and find ourselves maybe another large iron vein. I mean, surely they're not that rare, right? I certainly hope not anyway. Honestly, just look at how much iron there is here. Oh, <laughs> Oh, dear. Alternate video title. 27-year-old man goes absolutely loopy when he finds a giant iron vein. I mean, yeah, this is kind of awesome, isn't it? I'd love to know just how many iron ore pieces actually spawn within these giant veins, because imagine being able to get a full tier 4 beacons worth of iron from just one of these veins. I mean, that is unbelievably stupid to think about, isn't it? I mean, just imagine having that amount of resources in one go. Now, really, within these large veins here, the copper and iron ones, you can find, like, actual blocks of iron or copper within the adjacent blocks themselves. So, yeah, we've got all of these ores here, but on rare occasions, you can get the actual block versions. So there's, like, nine items within that block. But so far, no such luck. I guarantee you, though, we will find one. Oh, there's one. One of the uh, block of irons. Those very, very rare spawning blocks. Oh, that is actually so cool, though, dude. <laughs> Look at all the iron here. It's literally iron heaven. Oh, I'm chuffed about this, my friends. Absolutely chuffed. Oh, my gosh. The good luck just keeps on rolling in, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, would you look at that? There's one even closer by, huh? <laughs> ah. 
<laughs> oh, we are swimming in iron, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely fan dabba dozy. You'll love to see it, my friends. Absolutely love to see it. Look at it. It's just everywhere. It's just everywhere. Oh, another block of iron. Very nice. <laughs> I've said it before. Can you imagine if on rare occasions, and I really do mean on like astronomically rare occasions, can you imagine if we're able to get like these large veins of ores, but they be gold and diamonds and emeralds? Like, ah, oh, can you imagine that? Like, maybe there's like a 0.0001% per chunk chance of having a diamond large vein spawn in. I mean, that would just absolutely rule, wouldn't it? It really would be quite a find if you found one. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like we've got a pretty good amount of iron going on here. <laughs> Nine stacks, bro. Nine stacks! That is crazy! Oh, as if we'd find a fourth zombie villager all the way down here. I'm sorry, buddy, but trying to get you back to the surface would just be too much of a pain in the butt. So, uh, yeah. So then, time to go home, get a little bit of iron smelted up, get our shears, and get that storage room decorated to finish off the episode. Alright, a grand total of 55 blocks of raw iron, and there's already a stack in here, which is why it's not quite a full stack of iron blocks. So, yeah. All right, Coolio, we only needed two to get our shears. So let's get right back to our building, huh? The baby spoon. <laughs> I like that we're collecting all this random stuff as we go along in the series. It's fun, isn't it? All right, so this should be pretty simple, actually. We'll go ahead and just sort of randomly dot around all of this here greenery. And it should wind up going ahead and becoming sort of overgrown with time, eh? And just like that, leaves, cool dirt, and vines have given this place a real nice visual upgrade. So, yeah, you guys were absolutely right about adding some greenery and texture variation to this area. So thank you so much for that suggestion. So, ladies and gents, I think on that note, it is time to end off today's episode. So let's go ahead and do the comment of the day. Liam says, hey, Python, I think you should try making a base in every general biome. Savannah, desert, mountains, plains, jungle, etc. Once you are past the early slash mid game. Yeah, that'd be really, really cool. Like, there are still, to this day, after playing this game for nearly 12 years, there are still biomes that I have never, ever tried to build in. It's absolutely crazy to think about. Like, I would still love to make some sort of desert castle city. Kind of similar to Etho's Sandy City, but sort of my own version. Uh, obviously, in the Savannah, we could do like a Wild West theme thing. Or maybe in a Mesa, we could do a Wild West theme thing, you know? There's lots and lots of different things we could do. Like, in a Mushroom Biome, for example, we could go ahead and make like a fantasy type area. Like, all of these things, they are such cool ideas. I've just never had the courage to sort of venture out of my comfort zone and actually give them a go. But I'm really hoping that later on in the series, we can really start to go out of our comfort zone and try to experiment with new building styles because it's fun to do that, my friends. It does take a lot to go ahead and break free of your comfort zone, but once you do it, you sort of broaden your horizons and you'll feel way better for it. So yeah, guys, that'll just about wrap it up for today's episode. For an episode whereby I didn't really have any plans going into it, we've not done too bad, huh? We've got a whole bunch of pathways done. We've overhauled the storage area a little bit. And we have, for the first time ever in my personal Minecraft history, we have actually managed to find ourselves one of those very, very large super veins of ores. So yeah, I'm definitely pretty chuffed about that, my friends. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, time to wrap up the episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode here and you're excited to see more, the best way of showing your support is simply to drop a like on the video if you haven't already. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, Thank you for watching. Do have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you for your support. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.